You are listening to the In Between Sales Calls podcast with Derek Shebby, episode 18. Welcome, everyone. This episode is actually a request from quite a few salespeople, so I'm pretty excited about this one. That's right, I'm taking requests. So please connect with me on LinkedIn, join my Facebook page, subscribe to these podcasts, or just join my Sales in 21 Days program. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you need to improve your game in sales. So the request that I continue to get over and over again is, how can I sell when the economy is terrible? What can I do to sell right now? No one is meeting with me, Derek. Everything in my business has stopped. Could you help me create a value proposition? No matter which way you look at it, it's a challenging situation right now. Why should someone be meeting with you? Why should a company buy your products or services? Why should you be interrupting their day filled with survival mode? Okay, let me tell you my thoughts because the answer is actually quite simple, and it makes a lot of sense. But the way we can get to it is by first trying to get into the mind of our clients. So let's try. You ready? Imagine you're the decision maker. You're the target decision maker, the ideal client you're looking to break into, you're looking to meet with. That's you now. You're not the salesperson anymore listening to this. You're the business owner. So what are you thinking about right now? Maybe you're thinking how the world right now is filled with uncertainty. How every decision you make for your business is critical. Poor business decisions could lead to devastating results. As in, you could be another one of those companies going out of business. That would be horrible, right? Well, you start asking yourself, how do you know if you're doing the right things? How do you know what opportunities to take advantage of? How do you know who you can trust with your money and the future of your business? It feels like you're alone in this, with so much riding on every choice you make. You need to be smart with your money. You know that if you make the right moves, you could come out of the situation better than ever. Okay, now that we can feel the stress, the pressure, and the challenges they are facing, what's the answer to this question? How can I sell to these people when the economy is terrible? Easy. And this is today's success habit, because it's true regardless of what's going on out there, your customers are always fighting a battle for survival and growth, right? So the answer is, you must be seen as part of the solution to their problems. The success habit is to be part of the solution to your client's challenges. It's crazy to think that you are the only solution, though. I mean, there's many options businesses can take to improve, right? Typically, the ones that they take advantage of, though, are surrounded by common sense because the salesperson's strategy presented their offering as being part of their solution. Their solution was something that could help them achieve their goals and objectives. Don't worry. I'm going to help you right now. I'm going to show you how to become part of the solution. I'm going to share with you a framework that will help you better help your customers. So go grab a pen and paper. You're going to want to write this down. So here it is. You ready? Business owners, business leaders, your decision makers you're trying to meet with, they want four things typically. They want four things. First thing, number one, is they want to make more money. I mean, anyone that starts a business and it's just them and they go through all of the headaches and stress that comes with being a business owner, everyone does that because they want to make money. And they want to make a lot of it. So they want to make more money. That's a clear example. That's why they're there in the first place. The second thing is they want to grow their organization. They don't want to stay the same size they are right now. They want to continue to expand and continue to grow. Number three is they want to keep their employees happy. They've collected a lot of great people along the way as they've been growing their business. And they want to keep them happy because they're essential for them to be growing in the future, right? And the fourth thing, which is kind of a new one, is they want to survive this pandemic because we're going through some crazy things right now out there. So the four things, again, are they want to make more money, they want to grow their organization, they want to keep their employees happy, and they want to survive this pandemic. So what do you do with this information? Well, you start by choosing just one of your offerings. Just one. Start with one. Choose your best offering. Then write down how your offering solves these four things I just mentioned. Let me help you out. First one. Once you write down the offering, you can always pause this and come back. But the first thing is, how could your offering help them increase their profits? How could it help them make more money? 
And you got to really think about this because if this is difficult for you to connect, then it's going to be just as difficult for them to, right? You need to make sure you lock in on this. Number two is how could your offering help them create a new revenue source for their business? How could it help them grow basically, right? Sometimes an offering helps do a combination of number one and number two. It helps businesses reduce the costs of a business process or something that they're doing today, which could go straight to the bottom line, which is number one, right? Or it could be used to help them free up capital, extra money, so they can spend more in another area of their business to create a new revenue stream, which is number two. Maybe your offering does that. Maybe that's how you connect. That's how you fit into number one and number two. The third one is, how does your offering help their employees save time, increase their efficiency, and reduce errors? You know, all things that they would love that would make them more happy at their job, right? And lastly, number four is, how is your offering a safe decision for their business? And what other companies in their industry can you be prepared to reference that it actually does do what you say it does? That's it. I recommend you really take some time to figure this out, not just for one of your offerings, But for all of them, businesses can't afford to waste time right now, and neither can you. And when you are seen as being part of the solution, people will make time for you. Setting appointments will be easy. Running effective appointments will be easy. Getting consistent business will be easy. So if you're having challenges, then it's time to revisit your approach. Once you adjust that, you'll find everything else will change for the better. That's it for today's episode. Thank you for allowing me to join you on your sales journey. See you next time. Hey, if you enjoyed listening to this podcast, then you have to come check out my free five-day sales training course of my proven sales in 21 days program. I designed it to help you make more money in sales. Whether you're looking for a fast start or just looking to sharpen your skills, you can't afford to miss it. Come get free access today over at www.salesin21days.com. That's www.salesin21days.com. I'd love to have you join the program. See you there.